it's the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull speaking. And today I'd like to address accusations and suggestions that I, as Prime Minister of Australia, am out of touch with who you are. The man and woman in the street, working families, commuting on public transport, tram, trains and buses, in their own cars, in share vehicles, in vans, sometimes on bikes, motorbikes, sometimes in bedchucks, rickshaws, pedlows, sometimes light aircraft, ultralights, helicopters, sometimes ferries across the water, submarines, jet skis, kayaks of course, all forms of transport that you are using to get to your work a day job in order to earn a wage, to pay a third in tax, then spend the rest on subsistence, food from a supermarket, one of the two giants, overpricing groceries, and then taking a small amount of that and squirrelling it away for Christmas and your annual leave, four weeks a year until you retire, and then you haven't got enough super, and you end up in a retirement village where it's poorly funded and you're tortured by people that should never be in the health industry. Now, some people think that I'm out of touch with you. Well, of course I am, because I have a personal fortune in excess of $200 million. I live in a $50 million Italianate palazzo in Point Piper. And of course, I'm very wealthy because I was the first chairman and managing director of Goldman Sachs here in Australia. Goldman Sachs, for most of you, is just the name of a bank. But it is a global banking enterprise based in the United States of America that controls the world. Goldman Sachs alumni have controlled the White House Treasury for over 25 years. Bill Clinton's Treasury Secretary was from Goldman Sachs, eight years. George W. Bush's Treasury Secretary was from Goldman Sachs, another eight years. Even Barack Obama had Goldman Sachs people in the Treasury, but of course, he was smart enough not to make them Treasury Secretary, but not dumb enough not to use them. And of course, Donald Trump, who is going to drain the swamp that is Wall Street, has three Goldman Sachs operatives, one of which is his Treasury Secretary. 25 straight years of Goldman Sachs controlling the world's biggest economy. I worked for them for four years, and for those four years, I was paid $50 million. And during those years, I took $500,000, and I invested in a little startup called Oz Email. It was the first nationally-based email provider in Australia. Did you have an account? Do you remember the face of Oz Email? It was Steve Waugh, the Australian cricketing captain, one of the great sledges, Steve. Now, Oz Email, of course, was a lot of people's first email address. Everybody had different tags back in those days, Flap69 or Poo Shoot or Big Cock or some shit like that. And then we got jobs and had to calm it down a little bit. But I took those $500,000 worth of shares and in four short years, just before the tech bubble burst, I sold them for $57 million. That's right, 114 times my money just before the tech bubble burst. It's almost like I knew. <laughs> but if you say I did, I'll sue you to your final penny. Now, Goldman Sachs, for most people, is just the name of a bank, but it's more than that. Goldman Sachs is a global banking enterprise. One financial journalist wrote of Goldman Sachs, it's like a vampire squid with its tentacles wrapped around the face of the global economy, plunging its blood funnel into anything that smells like money. <laughs> Goldman Sachs feels like a, a yacht bobbing on the bay at Biarritz. It sounds like the marbling on a Wagyu steak sizzling on a hot fry pan in an upper class restaurant on the Lower East Side. It smells like money being tripled and shifted and tripled again before bubbles and crashes and taxes. Goldman Sachs is rich people making powerful people rich and powerful people making rich people powerful and I'm both. Which is why you probably have trouble understanding exactly who I am. But then again, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm Malcolm Turnbull. Thanks for listening. Banner. Do they catch pedalos to work? Or is that Vietnam? <laughs>